When she told me it was a melanoma, I said, well, how bad is it? And she said, all she said to me was, uh, well, I've seen them worse. So I, that really didn't mean much to me. It was early 2005, and I was having some trouble with a, a plantar wart on, uh, on the bottom of my left foot. So I went into Dr. McKay, and, um, and she looked at the plantar wart, she prescribed something. I said, well, while you're here, while I'm here, uh, what it would, I'm going to show you a mole. I wanted to get your opinion. And uh, the moment she looked at it, I could tell that she, she thought that she was concerned about it. It was the end of April, I had it removed and a week later I was in Saskatoon when I got the call, call from the doctor's office saying that, uh, that it was a melanoma cancer. And she explained this whole process of a, a sentinel node biopsy. So they put a, a radioactive dye into the cancer site and the radioactive dye travels up into your system and, and it, it uh, moves into the lymph nodes. So if the cancer had moved, it would move into those lymph nodes and you'd be able to see it, it, you'd be able to see it in, the, in the lymph nodes. So what they did is they put it in into my arm and then uh, they put me under a big machine and, and uh, you could see on a, a computer screen uh, the lymph nodes light up as the, as the radioactive dye hit the lymph node. So after they'd done that and say they, they saw what, what lymph nodes to get, they just marked them with a little marker and then uh, put me under a general anesthetic and then cut all those lymph nodes out. And uh, so they biopsied that. A week after that procedure, they, um, they called me and, um, and said that uh, the, the lymph nodes were all clear. So I was cancer free, so it was great. It hadn't, uh, it hadn't moved into my, into my lymph system or into my internal organs. You know, we certainly don't avoid the sun. The sun is it's just nice to have the sun after cold winters and, uh, and be in the sun, but we're just uh, much, much more respectful of the sun than we were before. And uh, we always make sure that we have uh, proper sun uh, pr protection on and, um, and just don't burn. We just uh, do whatever we can to, uh, to make sure we're not uh, spending that much time in the sun that we're, we're affecting our skin.